All right, let me get my lip gloss popping here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That looks a little better. But anyway, I am on my way to work. But before I go to work today, I wanted to give you all a sexy story time. I haven't done these in a very, very long time. Um, as a matter of fact, my old sexy time stories were kind of funny. So, this one might be funny, and it might not. But, I want to give you all a disclaimer first. If you are easily offended by frank discussions of sex save yourself the trouble and, and and go ahead and not watch this video because all it's going to do is annoy you and you're going to feel totally disconnected from this video and that's not my intentions I want everybody to come to my channel and feel comfortable so that's why I'm going to try to make every video as prude friendly as humanly possible while being myself at the same time but here we go with the sexy story time. Okay, some of you may and some of you may not know that I was huge in the swinging lifestyle in the late 90s, early 2000s, somewhere around there. And I think I stopped doing it like around maybe 2003. It just, uh, I don't know, it just ran its course and it just wasn't fun anymore. But when I initially started, I was probably in my late teens, early 20s. So here I am, I'm young, I'm black, and when I go to a lot of these events, I was usually the only young and black person there. So <clears throat> in around 2000, I started going to the swinger event that was hosted by a local dominatrix. And it was kind of fun. She didn't charge the women to get in. All we had to do was like bring a dish and bring our own condoms and things like that and bring our own washcloth and stuff like that. And, you know, and I had my little bag of uh, all my little goodies and everything like that. And, and it was fun to watch. I was more of a spectator. I wasn't really a participator. I was more of a spectator. I liked to watch. Um, a lot of the couples there just weren't really my cup of tea. A lot of the men kind of remind me of Santa Claus. <laughs> A lot of them were like really old, but they were like really, really nice. And the women that come to these events are really, really nice. And uh, after doing this over time, I eventually found a couple that I clicked with. And uh, we clicked very well. Um, and we go to a few swinger events together, not watch them play. Uh, not really into really participating and you know they would call me a lot and this was back in the day when AOL and these Yahoo groups were like really really popular you know because I belong to like every Yahoo sex group that there was you know and so you know I would go to every event that I was invited to and I'd have a good time uh, like I said not really much of a, a participator but a really really huge spectator I love to like watch so <clears throat> I met up with this couple and we hit it off really well. We go to a lot of these events uh, together. I was kind of like, in a sick way, they're like adopted daughter. Oh my God, I, I feel so sick even saying that. But <laughs> that's just how I felt. They they introduced me to the Swinger Society, and you know they you know protected me as much as they possibly could. Well, one day we decided we were going to have some sexy playtime, just the three of us, you know, because we had never done that before, you know. So we arranged to have, like, a little meeting. I said that they can come over to my apartment. At the time, I had that apartment that I was living uh, in when I was initially doing the videos for YouTube. That's the apartment that I was living in at the time. And so, you know, when they came over, I was real excited and I was really nervous because this was the first time I was going to play with this couple. And, you know, it was going to be nice and, and, and I was going to, you know, set the ambiance for the whole occasion. And when they came over, they had like a couple bottles of wine and they had a fruit tray and they had a cheese tray. And I was like, oh, this is going to be lovely. This is going to be so great. Oh, my God, this is going to be so great. So they came over 
and for like maybe an hour or so we kind of you know broke the ice you know this was going to be our first time playing so we were both kind of nervous about the whole thing so uh we just you know we downed uh, maybe a bottle of wine and we ate a few niblets of the cheese and the fruit plate and you know he was kind of uh, educating us on the wines from France, and it was just, it was really, really, uh, just kind of a icebreaker hour. So here we are. We want to get down to business. So we go to my bedroom, and, you know, we start taking off clothes and enjoying each other, and we're making out, and I'm noticing that the guy is, like, paying a little more attention to me than I really wanted him to. You know, his girlfriend, wife, or whoever she was to him, was just kind of like off on the edge of the bed just watching, and, you know, and, 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 you know, she was patient, she was just basically waiting her turn, and when it was her turn, he would kind of make out with her for like maybe three seconds, and then he'd be right back all over me, and I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay, so I'm like, oh, share with her, share with her, share with her, and so he'd go back over there, and, and make out with her for another ten seconds, and then he'd be right back over me again, and then he was just, all of his attention was, like, focused on me, and I can kind of see that his lady friend was annoyed by it, so she gets up, and she goes to the bathroom, and so I'm like, okay, okay, Erica, be cool, be cool. Maybe she does have to pee. So me and him, we're going at it. We're hot and heavy. We're having a good time. He's doing things to me. I'm doing things to him. And then I notice that she's in the bathroom for like 10, 15 minutes. So I tell him, hey, look, dude. Uh, why don't you go in there and check on your girl? You know, hopefully she didn't fall in the toilet and flushed herself in. So he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, let me go check on her. Let me go check on her. So he goes into the bathroom with her. And I notice that he's in the bathroom with her for like 10 minutes. And I can kind of hear them arguing, right? And so I couldn't really make out what they were arguing about. But it was getting kind of hot and heavy in there. They were arguing about something or whatever. And I kind of got the idea it was, they were arguing about me. I, she, she probably wasn't into the lifestyle. Or maybe he was just paying too much attention to me. I don't know. But they were in the bathroom for a long time. So I got up, and I put my clothes on, and I went into my kitchen, and I just finished up the bottle of wine. They were still in the bathroom. They're still talking. They're still arguing. Well, not necessarily arguing, but they're talking really loud. And, and you know, I can hear him, shh, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, because I guess he didn't want uh, me to hear what they were talking about in there. So obviously, she was pissed off about something or whatever. So I'm sitting there. I'm drinking my wine. I'm like, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm kind of annoyed by this by this point, right? So he comes out, they both come out, they go into my bedroom and they put their clothes on or whatever. And so they come out of my bedroom and I can see that they're fully clothed and they go and they put their coats on and everything like they're, you know, like they're ready to go. And I'm just like, what's the matter? You know, did I do something wrong? Did I do? He's like, no, no, no. We'll, we'll reschedule and do this a different day. You know, just today just isn't the day for us. And I'm sorry to waste your time and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just looking at them like, oh my God, you know, what just happened? You know, I mean, I had been spending so many weeks with you guys and we've been chatting on the phone and every, you know, what happened? What, what, what went on? And he didn't really go into great detail about uh, why she was pissed off, but she was uh, pissed off at him, not necessarily me, but he was just like, oh, don't worry about it, you know, I'll call you or uh, I'll email you and uh, we'll, we'll try this again, and so he reaches into his coat and he takes out his wallet and he hands me $400, he gives me four $100 bills, and I'm looking at it and at first, I'm, like, disgusted. Like, I, I give him this look, like, and then the look turns to, then it went to, then it went to, then it went to, and the rest is history. <laughs>